In this lesson, we will learn how to use the little arrow button that appears on the headers of our tables when we create them. In the current sheet, we can see the sales of the six employees for the first trimester of the year. We have marked the two star employees with an orange background. The data are already formatted as a table, and we can see that next to every header cell, there's a small arrow. These arrows are the same as those displayed when we filter data which are not inside the table. Let's jump uh, briefly to another sheet. Here we have some data which are not part of a table. If we select this data, and uh, from the home tab of the ribbon we click on the Sort and Filter button, a list of options appears. If from this list of options we choose Filter, the familiar arrow button will appear. By clicking on it, we can see that the options we have are exactly the same as the ones in the table arrow. Keep in mind that these data are not a table, but the functionality, as far as the small arrow is concerned, remains the same. So whatever we learn here applies to this filter button as well. Back to our original sheet. We can click on the arrow next to the employee header cell. The first two options are used to sort the data of the table. So, if we want to sort the table by employee name, in ascending order, we use the first option. Suppose we want to sort the tables by March sales in descending order. We click on the arrow on the right of the March heading and click on the descending sorting option. Our previous sorting has been removed and the table is now sorted by the March values in descending order. But there is one more sorting option this one sort by color suppose we want to show our star employees first we click on the sort by color and choose the color of the star employees they are now shown first and the rest of the employees are shown below them in their original sort order this could be very useful if we have our data categorized by color to disable our sorting we have to go to the data tab of the ribbon and click on the sort button. A new window will appear. This window can help us sort our data by multiple columns, which we will talk about at another video. Here we will also find this button, the delete level button. By clicking on it, we remove our sorting. Below the three sorting options, we can find sheet view. This is a feature available to Office 2021 or newer. It requires for the workbook to be stored in our OneDrive. So let's open a workbook stored in our OneDrive. This is a very useful feature when you share the workbook. All collaborating users can create their own temporary city views and see the data using different sorting and filtering options without messing up with the original one. Let's see how. We click on the filter button, Sheet View, and click on New Sheet View. We change uh, the filtering and sorting options, let's say descending order here, and then click back on the default view. Excel asks us if we want to keep our view or discard it. We set uh, a name for our view, and keep it. The new view will be shown below the default view. Default view, new view. Let's go back to our locally stored sheet. It is time to talk about filters. Our worksheet contains the grades of 70 students for four subjects, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and literature. We will use a filter to display the students who have achieved 18s at mathematics. We click on the small arrow next to the mathematics header. At the bottom of the list of options, we can see the list of values of the specific column, which we can use as a criterion. We only need the value 18, so we first deselect them and then select just the value 18. Excel only displays a subset which contains just the students whose mark is 18. 
In other words, Excel has hidden all the rest of the entries that do not satisfy this criterion. We can see that the color of the numbers of the rows which are displayed is blue, and the column Mathematics displays a little filter icon, which means that we have applied our criterion there. Filters display only the rows that fulfill the filtering criteria, hiding the rest of the rows as opposed to sorting, which reorders the rows. In our example, 10 out of 70 students have achieved 18 at mathematics. To remove the filter and display all the rows, we have two options. The first is to select the clear filter from mathematics, which appeared as soon as we clicked on the arrow. As you can see, the filter has disappeared. Let's undo to see the other way. We click the arrow again and select select all and then OK. The filter has been removed again. Next, let's assume that we want to display the top five grades at mathematics. We click on the arrow of the column mathematics. We navigate to Number Filters option and from the Emerging menu we select Top 10. There we select if we want to have the greater or the smaller values, top or bottom, and we define the number of the rows. We set the number to 5. We make sure that the Items is selected, otherwise we'll have a list of the top 5%. Once we are done, we click at OK. The table now displays the 8 students with the best grades. We would expect 5 students to be displayed, however we have 8 because 3 students have the same grades. We will display all the rows again, we click on the filtered arrow and select clear filter from mathematics. Next, let's assume that we want to display all the students whose grade in physics is between 10 and 15. We click at the arrow of the column of Physics and then at Number Filters. We select Custom Filter. Here we set the range. We select Is Greater Than or Equal To and set the value 10. But we want the grades to be less than or equal to 15. For this reason, we choose the equality operator AND. We select 15 at the second field. In case 15 wasn't listed among the available options, we could have typed it. We click on OK. 35 rows are now displayed, as you can see at the status bar. We clear the filter so that every row is displayed again. The table contains a few students that haven't received any mark at the subject of chemistry. This one and this one, for example. To find out which students do not have grade in chemistry, we do the following. We click at the chemistry arrow and deselect the select all choice. At the end of the list, we select blanks. And now we have three students displayed. To display all the rows, we click at the filter arrow and then we select Clear filter from chemistry. Depending on the type of data that exists in our columns, the options we have in the filter menu also change. For numbers, as you have seen, we have uh, equal to or not equal to, greater than, less than and many more. But if we go to a column with text, for example in the name, Then the filters are different. Instead of uh, number filters, we have text filters. Here we will find the options begins with, to include names beginning with certain letters, or ends with for names ending in certain letters. Similarly, the contains and does not contain commands display names that contain or do not contain some specific letters respectively. Let us select all the students whose name starts with A. 
we select begins with from the filter menu and we write A. We click on OK and the filter has been applied. The filters can be applied in combination as well. We have selected all the students whose name starts with A. Let's see how many of them got uh, over 10 in mathematics. We click on the mathematics arrow, select number filters, greater than, and type 10. The filter is applied. To turn the filtering off, we need to navigate to the data tab and then click on the filter button again so as to turn it off. As we can see, the arrows of the headers have disappeared and the filter has been turned off as well. We can also filter by color. We we'll go back to our first sheet. We want to filter our table to only show us the employees marked with the orange background. We we'll click on the arrow, choose filter by color and select orange. The table now only shows us the two employees marked with the orange background. Remember that all we have talked about today applies to data, not in tables as well. Excel gives us tools to sort and filter data in more advanced ways, but we can safely say that we have covered everything about simple sorting and filtering in Excel.